You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. We here at CNA TV have been filming these segments for nearly three years now. I hope you take the time to watch the episodes and learn about extraordinary CNAs who have performed heroically and overcome great obstacles, often sacrificing a great deal in the process. We recognize CNAs who leave it all on the hall, every bit of energy and encouragement they have. They give it to the residents. They go home drained and depleted physically and emotionally only to get up and do it again the next day. That's the CNA life. Some of my favorite shows we filmed have been about young adults, teenagers discovering the joys and rewards of working with the elderly and providing care. Seeing young people committed and dedicated to caregiving, working as CNAs brings me hope and reminds me of some very fond memories as a young 18-year-old nursing assistant myself. Thank you to the Lewiston, Maine's Sun Journal for initially publishing a story about an outstanding young woman. I would like to introduce Tiana James from South Paris, Maine. She's a high school senior who completed the requirements and passed the exams to become a certified nurse's assistant, a step towards her goal of becoming a nurse specializing in women's health. Tiana was hired by a local hospital soon after obtaining her certification. Since that time, she has worked in the hospital's COVID unit, working five to seven days a week, caring for those most sickened by the pandemic. And let me remind you, she is a senior in high school. When able, Tiana attends Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School in person on Mondays and Tuesdays. The other days, she does remote learning and works in Lewiston at the hospital. On Saturday, she puts in a 12-hour shift at the hospital. Her schedule doesn't leave much free time, but when she's not working, she said she manages to hang out with her two best friends. Tiana works at the same hospital as her mother. Her father works at another hospital nearby, and this gives her a strong support system to help with the pressures of caring for very ill patients. Tiana said, I've learned to manage. When I come home, I take off my scrubs at the door and put them in the wash. My mom and dad are very supportive. We don't get out much. It's pretty much the three of us right now. Tiana usually clocks in at the hospital about 2.45 p.m. and starts her shift by reviewing her patient's reports. By 4 p.m., she's already taking their vital signs, bathing them, or helping them eat their meal. She might spend up to 90 minutes with each patient. Tiana says, we're very careful between rooms. We have to wear face shields, N95 masks, gowns, hair nets, booties on our feet, and I double glove, she said of her hospital routine. The patients tend to feel bad for us that we have to wear all that stuff. They feel like they're a burden, but I reassure them that I am there to help them get better. The gear protects me and them. That's a smart CNA. Tiana said she has worked a few times in the COVID ICU with people on ventilators. She said it's not her favorite place to work because she just lost her grandmother to COVID. Her grandmother was 69 and lived in Alabama. As a healthcare worker, Tiana was one of the first in Maine eligible for the coronavirus vaccine. She got her first dose after Christmas 
and the second in January. She had no reaction to the first injection and just some minor aches and a bump on her arm after the second one. Some people advised the teen she should not be vaccinated. Tiana recalls of getting the vaccine. For me, it was like, wow, this is really happening. A lot of people said, don't get it, you're young. But Tiana says she got it for her patients, her family, and for her community. Tiana continues, I never thought in a million years I would be offered something so significant during this time. Almost all staff chose to be vaccinated right away. One part of caring for COVID patients that stays with Tiana are the stories they tell her. One of her patients, a World War II vet, loves telling her about when he was in the war. Tiana said, it is something that has definitely opened my eyes about life. Since I've started working there, I've learned that you can't take any moment you have for granted. So many people wake up one day and then three days later, they're gone. Tiana plans to work at the hospital until July when she will move south to attend the University of Southern Alabama to attend their school of nursing. Tiana James, you are wise beyond your years. I admire your dedication to your education. I admire your leadership and your ability to care for others. You are an incredible young adult. You are the future. Everyone, please join me in recognizing the determined, hardworking Tiana James, CNA hero.